Hi, I'm Jill Ryan, CEO of Kudamash & Associates, with another tip on addressing Joint Commission top findings. Today's topic is on medication orders that aren't clear or aren't updated or aren't present or accurate. Issues here surround um, ambiguous orders, order, orders that could uh, allow for therapeutic duplication. And let me share with you some um, excerpts from findings from actual survey reports. Medication for acetaminophen 325 did not include the indication. Orders reviewed in ICU for continuous IV sedation did not include all components of a complete medication order, i.e. the order did not include starting dose, titration rate, and frequency. Another example, three medications were written for the same indication without a differentiation of when to give each, thus creating potential for therapeutic duplication. So to address this, consider, um, consider the types of medication that, um, that allow for determinations to be made or based on parameters. So think about pain medications, medications for fever, antinausea, um, even medications for um, constipation, and build order sets that clearly define um, if this scenario, so if pain is in this range, then use this med at this dose. Test those draft order sets with multiple staff, nurses, pharmacists, LIPs. Do they make sense? Is everyone um, interpreting them in the same way? Is there consistent application um, and ordering? And then implement those and require that those order sets be used. Thanks again for joining us. Please provide us with your feedback. What are your experiences? How can we learn from one another? Thanks and looking forward to our next time together.